we're back out here at the barrier, which is one of my favorite places on earth. I've been coming here for 15 years, and honestly, it changes a little bit every time I'm here. But the wildlife, every single time, is just as incredible as it was the time before. I have a real special connection with the bird life here in particular because we have really gorgeous native trees around our place and it's always got tuis, kingfishers, kakas, everything here. Especially the coastal bird life, which is the penguins, the dotterels, the herons, the oyster catchers, all of that. Which is why I felt really inspired to do something about the problem that the penguins are having with not being able to find a place to nest. So it's been two months since our penguin box building workshop down at the flagship and uh, we're out here with the 18 penguin boxes that we made on the day and seven other amazing people that have been really important in bringing the penguin boxes out here and setting them up in the Shire which is a little penguin box colony that we've put together. When you're walking past you can't really tell that there's anything special inside but there really is something quite special inside. We have GPS located all of the boxes and there are a couple of people back home that I know really wanted to be uh, regularly updated on the box uh, just to be let know every now and then if there were penguins, just photos and everything. So it's really cool that um, people back home are so interested and just about as passionate as I am about the penguins which is really amazing. Something that I'd really like to do next is to get the local school involved, which is Mulberry Grove School. I've been there multiple times and the wildlife and the bird life that's around there is really, really incredible and it would be so cool to have uh, them involved with building boxes or just keeping an eye on boxes, sorting out spots for them and even having boxes around the school because they're like right on the coast and I'm sure they would have lots of penguins going up there. In 50 years time, I really hope that the barrier becomes quite an abundant place for penguins. Not only abundant, but really safe place for them as well, with penguin boxes where they need them, and all the locals and the visitors here just kind of getting involved where they can, having awareness, and just taking care of the penguins that are here, and being careful when they're driving on the roads at night, keeping their dogs under control, have putting collars and microchips on their cats, and yeah, just being involved where they can so that when they go fishing, which all the locals here do, they can see the penguins bobbing along next to them and uh, know how important and significant they are to the Horaki Gulf. <laughs>